Hello and welcome to this quick video showcasing the professionally designed GitHub-based portfolio site that you get as a member of the Data Science Infinity career plan. So in the program, as you work your way through the curriculum, learning all of the key skills and tools that hiring managers have said they need and want from new data scientists, you will build your way towards an incredible portfolio of projects. And this is hugely important when looking to land your first role in the field. While other candidates will have portfolio projects that look like this, a nightmare for recruiters and hiring managers, you will be selling yourself with this. As I mentioned, this has been professionally made for Data Science Infinity career plan students and exist upon GitHub. On top of the site itself, and as you can see on screen here, as a career plan student, you are even provided with pre-built project templates optimized for hiring managers and recruiters based upon the tasks that you have undertaken in the course, all meaning that you get even further ahead of the competition and go from learning to applying and landing amazing roles much faster. These projects are based upon real world tasks and problems that are so common in the field. So come interview time, you're going to be showcasing the types of skills and knowledge that hiring managers are screaming out for. So let's take a bit of a look. Starting at the bottom, we have the very first project that you add to your site, and this is called finding all prime numbers under 1 million using Python. This is a really cool project that we build when learning all about the different data structures within Python and why it is important to know the differences under the hood for both functionality and performance. As you can see, once you have completed this work in the course, you get the pre-built project to add straight in. You are of course free to alter, amend, add to, or refine these projects to suit your needs or your wording or your understanding. I build the templates for you, but you own them. You will be the one speaking about them in interviews so you need to feel confident and comfortable with them. The next project we build is assessing campaign performance using the chi-square test for independence and this is such a common task in the field. Showcasing your ability to do this well will get attention. Again as you can see I give you the project template once you have completed the work in the course and you can keep it as is or add your own flair. Next we have our first machine learning project predicting customer loyalty using machine learning. Here we test three three different algorithms to predict customer loyalty scores based upon attributes and shopping behaviors. Again, this is a really common type of project in the real world, so you're syncing with the needs of hiring managers. Next, we have enhancing targeting accuracy using machine learning, where we test out several classification algorithms and look to predict who will purchase a particular product so that future marketing communications can be much more efficient and effective. Again, you are provided with an optimized project template after you've put in the hard work, learning and applying this in the course. Next, we build out a customer segmentation called the you are what you eat segmentation using K means clustering to divide up the customer base of a grocery retailer into distinct segments to increase business understanding and to enhance the relevancy of targeted messaging and customer communications. In a project called compressing feature space for classification using PCA, we use principal component analysis to compress 100 unlabeled sparse features into a more manageable number for classifying by of Ed Sheeran's latest album. We then move on to a project using association rule learning, which is the basis behind concepts such as the customers who purchased X are likely to purchase Y that you often see on sites like Amazon. Here we apply this technique to the alcohol section of a store with the aim of A, helping customers find the products they want, B, recommending which other products they might be interested in, and C, helping the marketing managers understand which products to use in some bundled promotions they are looking to run. Next, you will build a project called quantifying sales uplift with causal impact analysis which is a powerful technique originally created at Google. One of the most common tasks we undertake in data science and data analysis is understanding and quantifying a change in a key business metric after some event has taken place. Depending on the industry this could be the uplift in sales after a promotion or a product release, the additional clicks, conversions or signups generated by an online ad campaign, the change in share price after a market event or even the change in the value of the US dollar after the president opens his mouth. Whatever the scenario, the task is essentially the same. We want to understand how big the change was. But to understand this robustly and reliably, we need to understand what would have happened had the event not taken place. And this is what causal impact analysis looks to do. In Data Science Infinity, we learn about and apply this technique to analyze, understand, and quantify the sales uplift of customers that joined a membership program, providing them free grocery deliveries. From there, we add in our first project 
project from the world of deep learning. We build, refine, and optimize a convolutional neural network to classify images of different fruits. We look at ways to tackle overfitting. We utilize image augmentation to increase the reliability and performance of the network. We tune the hyperparameters to get an optimal architecture. And we even look at applying a massive pre-trained neural network to see how that compares. This is hugely exciting. And again, after you've put in all of the hard work, you are provided with the project template to showcase the incredible skills and knowledge you now possess. Continuing on in deep learning, you then build something quite amazing, an image search engine driven by deep learning, meaning that we have a tool customers can use to find products in store that are most similar to what they've seen in other shops or out in public. Like I say, this is an incredible project and one that will really gain attention when applying for roles in the field. As with all of the other projects we've seen, you again get the project template provided, meaning you really can go from learning to applying and landing incredible roles much, much faster. Your results are my number one priority, and this is just another part of the Data Science Infinity program that will help you get to where you want to be in this exciting, future-proof, and lucrative field. So there you go, an overview of the portfolio site and the pre-built projects in Data Science Infinity. Of course, you can always add in your own projects to the site as well, but these projects are going to put you in an amazing position to impress when applying for and interviewing for roles. Lastly, just to reiterate, while students on the Data Science Infinity Upskill Plan will still learn about and apply all of these amazing tasks as you go through the curriculum, the portfolio site and the pre-built project templates are only available to Data Science Infinity Career Plan students. Now, if you have any questions at all about the portfolio or about Data Science Infinity in general, you can get in touch with me via the main Data Science Infinity site or by connecting with me on LinkedIn. I love talking data science, so I will be absolutely delighted to discuss.